What's going on everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to load uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery for your Xperia ZL if your bootloader is locked, okay, your bootloader is locked, I repeat. Uh, just to prove I'm running the Xperia ZL, as you can see I'm running the model number 6506. There are many different versions of the ZL, your numbers might differ just slightly, but yeah, I'm running the ZL. Uh, first and foremost, all credits and props goes to Hackett's right here on XDA Developers. And what I'm going to do is put a link to this forum post in the description below. Just simply expand the description below and there you'll find a link to this post. Uh, basically, if you have any technical questions, please do not ask me. Ask in this forum because I am not a developer. So if you ask me, I will most likely not answer your question because I wouldn't know how to help you. Uh, furthermore, what you should do is when you're on this page, is log in, hit the thanks button. Better yet, donate to them for all their hard work. Furthermore, by attempting to follow instructions in this video, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility, so be following instructions in this video at your own risk. Now, it doesn't say anywhere, as of right now, that any data will be lost on your phone. But what I suggest you do is, just in case, is back up your um, app data. If you oh, so Because you must be rooted in order to get this up and running, okay? It's a requirement that you're rooted, your bootload is locked, and you stock firmware of ZL. So you're not running any... Um, different ROM on the ZL. Um, so basically, if you're rooted and you want to know how to back up your apps and stuff, I'll have a video explaining how to do that in the description below. Uh, I suggest you back up your pictures and music just in case. Nothing should get wiped, but it's just a precaution and always good to take. So what I want to do is basically download the files and then I'll show you how to get your phone ready for your computer to recognize it. So uh, you just scroll down just a little bit. Personally, I'm just gonna, there's three files here. Um, it might be a little confusing as to which one to get. I'm just going to get the first one because it's been viewed 2800 times. Just download it, extract it to your C drive of your computer. Um, here's my computer, C drive, and there's the extracted folder. Well, we won't run this just yet. Uh, we'll get back to that. So to get your phone ready for your computer to recognize, uh, what you want to do is basically go to your system settings, go all the way down to about phone, and you're going to and you're going to keep tapping build number until you get a countdown. Um, when the countdown's done, you should get developer options. I, I already had developer options, but that's how you get up and running. Uh, from here, it should be on, okay? And what you're going to do now is check mark USB debugging, press OK, go back. And it's just a precaution, you don't have, probably have to do this, but I, as a precaution I usually take is I go to security, and I check mark unknown sources and press OK. And what you want to do is, in order to help your computer recognize your phone, you're going to go to Google and type PC Companion. Actually, I'll just put a direct link to this as well, but you can go to Google, type PC Companion, go to this first page, and download this program. Download it, install it, and while your device is in USB debugging mode, just plug it into your computer with the USB cord. It might take a few minutes for your computer to install all the drivers. So what I suggest you do is just be very patient and wait. Um, when all the drivers are ready and installed, then you can continue. Depending on whether or not your device is plugged into your computer, uh, just unplug it for now. And what you want to do is go to Google Play and download and install an app called BusyBox. I'll put a link to this app in the description below. Just get it from Google Play, install it. And what you're going to do is let it, it's going to load a whole bunch of stuff on the first run. Let it do that. Press install. I tend to hit smart install. I, I personally don't know the difference between the two, but let it do its thing, and then once it's done, then you're gonna hook up your phone back to your computer, okay? So it's done already. Let's ignore this. And now at this point, you're just gonna hook up your phone to the computer. I almost forgot the busy box step, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but once that's done, now you can officially, or rather, now you can hook up your phone to your computer with no worries. What you wanna do is close this, you're not transferring any files of any kind. You're gonna go to that, that unzipped file. Uh, or folder rather, where you put it in C drive. I put it in C drive, you might have put it somewhere else. Go there, and while your phone is connected to your computer, obviously, you're going to choose the bat file. If you're on Windows 7, like myself, it'll tell you uh, a warning, just press run. And there's one important thing I almost forgot to mention. It's, it's written here in big red writing, there's a warning. Do not do not uh, boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery while your device is plugged in. I assume when it's plugged in, what they mean is plugged into your computer. Uh, they say that if you're trying to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery while it's plugged in, it, it'll mess it up and you can't boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. The only way you can fix it is to do a full wipe. Okay, so that's just one little warning I had to mention. When the device is up and running, you're going to press any key to continue. 
it's going to give credits to like other developers that helped. So just press any key to continue again. And here it's going to tell you the exact same requirements I had told you guys to do. Okay, uh, you should have USB drivers installed, which was done through PC Companion. You must be rooted. We did BusyBox just now. Ash showed you the other steps, blah, blah, blah. Press any key to continue yet again. It's going to do a whole bunch of stuff in the background. I'll continue once it's done. Um, it's telling me to grant user super user access. I'm going to grant it. Uh, so just pay attention to your device. And right now my device is rebooting. And um, we'll just wait. So while the device is rebooting, um, it tells you to press any key to continue. Get out of here. And it gives you a warning of some kind if you can't charge it while the device is off. Just go to these links. Um, I'm going to ignore that for now. You guys can do that if you have that problem. Press any key to continue again, and then it shuts down. Now what I want to do is confirm we have Clocker Mod. Okay, so a number of users, including myself, have had trouble booting into Clocker Mod Recovery after finishing the entire process. Basically what's supposed to happen is, after you're done, you unplug your device and the, the program closes and everything. Um, you power off your device, and when you power on, you should see a blue LED notification light right here. When that happens, what you're supposed to do is basically press the up or down volume button, immediately and just continue to hold it for like two or three seconds you'll see the green LED notification light flash then let go of the either volume button a wait and then uh, like after a few seconds it'll boot into clock remote recovery now that didn't work for me because the blue LED notification light wasn't popping up for me and a number of users <clears throat> the fix for that is extremely simple what I did and what other people have done uh, was simply you know plug your phone back into your computer it's on USB debugging mode is on all that good stuff you just basically rerun re the steps for this program part exactly the same. So whatever you did the first time to run this program, just do the exact same thing again. And after a second attempt, it, it works just fine. So let me demonstrate for you guys. So my device is completely powered off. I'm going to turn it on. Let's see if I can show you the LED notification. I'm going to turn it on right now. Okay, vibrate is turning on. Still waiting. There's a blue LED notification. I'm pressing and holding a volume button. There's a green. I let go. Now we just wait a few more seconds. It should boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And uh, you're pretty much done for this video. There we go. There's Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, so it's simple. It's There's not much timing involved because the blue LED notification light stays there for a few seconds. This is not touch recovery. It doesn't, it's unfortunately, but it's not a big deal. So to navigate, what you do is use the volume buttons to go up and down. And to select a option, like let's say for example I want to reboot the system now, you just simply press the power button and it reboots or whatever option you selected will do it. So it's very simple. Um, that's pretty much it. If you want to know how to flash a ROM, uh, I'll show you in another video. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. And um, that's pretty much it. If you guys found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.